This is Derek Barr with Hardy Telecommunications and today I'm going to make some uh, training videos and show you how to uh, troubleshoot or, and do some of the most commonly commonly asked questions that we get with OneNet and show you how to fix those issues. One bit of troubleshooting that you can perform um, if you find that you're having to reboot your set-top box often uh, sometimes there's a picture with no sound or, or the sound with no picture or, or various problems and you have to reboot your set-top box, um, you might want to make sure that your set-top box is coded to the correct component output. If you are um, sending out a high-definition um, signal and you have an HDMI cable uh, connected to your TV and an HDMI cable would look like this um, and if that's the way that your TV is hooked up it doesn't have to be that way but um, that does provide, that is the preferred option, it provides the best um, signal output. But you would um, want to make sure that your set-top box is set up to send out an HD signal. And the way that you do that is you go through on your OneNet remote and you use the menu button which is right above the uh, OK button with the arrows around it. Above that is the menu. If you hit that once It will take you to that screen right there. My guide, search guide, you want to use the down arrow button all the way down to settings. And then you would press OK. And that would bring up account preferences, help, and advanced detail. You go down arrow to preferences, hit OK. Down arrow again to set top box setup, click OK. And you can see there are different listings there. Output aspect ratio, closed caption, component output, and HDMI Dolby Digital. You want to go to component output and you hit the down arrow until that selection is highlighted there in yellow. You can see that. And if I press the OK button, that changes to HD. And if you're using an HDMI cable to connect to your TV, that is the setting that you, we would prefer that you use. So I would go the down arrow until apply is highlighted at the bottom and click the OK button. Now that will cause the um, set-top box to reset. So there is a bit of a delay while the box will um, change the setting to put out a com HD component output. It will reboot. This is a, a DVR box. So I'm going to go ahead and let it go and reboot just so you do know, you can understand what's going on. It does take a little bit of time, but I am changing that setting. Um, I'm not saying that that would solve every problem, but we have found several instances where uh, changing the component output and making sure it is on HD, if it is an HDMI cable, um, and that that has, has caused some of the problems and people don't have to reboot their set-top boxes. Um, uh, nearly as often. Right now the box is resetting. You can see that that's normal, the, the green text. Uh, now at the bottom it says loading player software. So it, uh, I will have to log in once it um, comes back up to that. But I, I did change the setting so that it will come out as HD. Uh, sometimes there's a, a bit of a uh, just I guess miscommunication between the set-top box and the TV if it's not set for HD and you're using an HDMI cable. Here is the password. The default password is 1234 unless you've changed that. Uh, but you put in whatever your password is uh, using four digits. Hit OK. And then a second here it will um, pop back in. It came back in on our Helmic Rock weather cam. Um, I'll put it back on what I had it on ESPN. And now, if I go back into where I was and I hit the menu button, and then it brings up that screen, I hit the down arrow button all the way to settings, and then preferences, go down to preferences, go down to set top box setup and now you can see that it is HD is highlighted under the component output. Uh, I'm going to hit the X button to get out of that. Uh, that is a way to, to hardwire your set-top box to, to make sure it is on HD. 
Um, hopefully that would solve some problems you've been having if you, you have been having to reboot your set-top box and uh, that may eliminate the problem.